So what inspired me to produce comedy is just I wanted to create a relief from what is going on in the world. I wanted to create like a, a safe place in a sense. And that's kind of where comedy came from. Can you get a manager for me, please? Can you put on a mask, please, baby? Can you wait while I get it out of my purse, please? You must have left it in the car. Yeah, I started with Vine. With Vine giving you only six seconds to be funny, I kind of like learned what my comedic timing was in a sense. Everything I learned in my acting classes, my drama class, I just went over and added a little touch to it with my women families. I have three that have actual names. That's the blonde one that everybody loves. That's Cassandra, and she just like got named. Vivian and Brandon. Those are the three that have actual names. All the other characters you see, none of them have names. And the reason for that is because I don't want to be tied to a character. I just want to throw in a wig and I'm whoever that wig is. 911, let me have it. Hi, are you guys open? 24 hours a day unless I'm on a break. Okay, totes, what do you recommend? Well, it depends on what you're in the mood for, honey. Oh. Okay, so my comedic influences would be, I know Will Smith is definitely one of them. Joanne the Scammer is one of them. But my biggest influence is Mad TV. I see that all the time. People overlook how of a genius that show is because the comedic timing is always there. I love collaborating with people. When I was just starting, I wanted to collab with like, five million people and I knew that I didn't have like the content to like do that in a sense. Now that I am there where I can provide the opportunities for like other people, it is amazing. <laughs> what advice I would give young artists is instead of following what's popular, create your own popular, let people follow you.